before Shad, I worked for BRAC. Well, uh, not many of you know about BRAC. This is probably the largest NGO in the world, not only in, in terms of its size, but in terms of its impact, how many people we reach, and the range of services that you offer. At BRAC, we are working with Yale, uh, BRAC University, and ourselves. We are trying to find out, can we use the mobile usage data to identify or almost predict poverty? And if we can do that, can we then help them with uh, sort of social safety net support people, they started a startup. It's an interesting model because uh, not many people in Bangladesh own a smartphone, but they are involved, they are involved in uh, e-commerce. So what they have done, they have developed a uh, voice recognition uh, software whereby these old people can dial a number and tell that I have sold this much to that person. And the system automatically translates that voice to text, identify that person, identify the product that uh, the person is saying is sold, and record it into the books of account. So this is a complete accounting system, runs through voice. Again, this is one example where we are bringing in ideas from many places, but designing something which is exclusively or entirely needed in countries like Bangladesh, where uh, we don't have uh, social safety net databases, reliable databases, and where many of the financial data is not available uh, digitally. I think the big tech companies are all struggling to reach to the next billion. Now, where is the next billion? The next billion is not in the West. The next billion doesn't have a mobile phone or a smart mobile phone. The next billion don't speak English. Uh, even the next billion are not tech savvy.